So you you had just uh, we're back again. It's November eleventh. Um, you had just described the settlement of the Ti the Ti mm-hmm. ITC matter. Um, so. Um, Um, we got there by um, talking about Elmer Stone and the merger with that firm. Maybe now's a good time to go through um, the sequence of the names (laughs) of the firm, right? The first was, maybe I'll just run through it. It was Davis Stone. There were five names at the beginning. Was, was Davis, it Alden, Davis, Stafford, Kelman, and Fenwick to begin with? Uh, no, it was Alden, Davis. Yeah, that was the first name after I got involved. Right. Before that, it was Alden, Davis, uh, Alden, Davis, Stafford, and Kelman. Right. And then Alden, Davis, Stafford, Kelman, and Fenwick. Yeah. And then Alden left, so it became Davis, Stafford, Kelman, and Fenwick. Well, they they rearranged it there uh, in that room, I think. Uh, the uh, <clears throat> and then at some was, point it became. It was. Uh, was it Fenwick Stone and West? First? It was Fenwick. I've got it listed in the document. Oh, on. okay. I'll pull it out and send it to you. So, but there were quite a few name changes in oh, the yeah, early days in nine or ten. until it finally settled on Fenwick and West. Um, were those uh, name changes all kind of done by consensus of the partners? Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, that when Don's name was taken on, it was quite a blow to him because. Uh, I actually voted for him. I think he had two votes, his and mine. Uh-huh. And the rest of the partners voted for uh, for me to become the uh, managing partner. That's when I made the deal with him that I, I wouldn't do that unless we set up this situation where uh, I made all the decisions except hiring and firing of partners and setting the Compensation. Right. right. And we created <clears throat> committees to handle those things. Uh-huh. Uh, and that that process, I was in that position when we merged with the. Uh, uh, I guess I guess we made that pro- proposition before, because that existed when we went into the Stones. It must have been later. It was when Stone left that Fenwick was moved to first, to the first name in the firm. I'll get you the thing. Oh, okay. I got the date and everything that had occurred. Um, <clears throat> but uh, I thought because I thought there was a time where it was Fenwick, Stone, and West. But maybe I'm maybe I'm misremembering that. Um, um, no, it may may well have been because the uh, the first casualty in terms of the name of the firm founder's name in the firm was when uh, the partners voted to uh, take Kelman and Stafford off. Right. And then it was it was Fenwick Davis and West, right? It was it was Davis Fenwick Stone and West. Oh well, really? Okay. I didn't remember that at all. Um, so uh, we wanted to talk about the Privacy Act stuff. Maybe before um, we do that, I can I can ask you another question I want to, which was um, the motivating factor for the founding group to relocate itself to California was that California was a uh, had lifestyle. Advantages. A lot better place to raise children. And so um, we haven't talked at all about um, the move to California and uh, whether, you, you know, California met your 
hopes and expectations on that front. So um, how, how did you feel about having moved to California uh, in those early days? Were you I, happy with it? I was, uh, you'll remember that the six months before I actually moved, I was living in the downtown athletic club most of the time in New York City. Uh -huh. the, you guys were out here. But I was very pleased with the move from the beginning. I mean, the uh, one of the of my uh, classic desires was to live in a place where you guys could just get on your bicycle uh -huh. and go to school right. or to the store or wherever the hell you wanted to go. And that we did that from day one. Uh, we moved in July, I think, and uh, we had bought you and Tammy a bike. I don't know when we bought those bikes. I think we bought them after we got to California, but um, both of you had a, a small bike. Uh -huh. In fact, I, uh, one, <laughs> one gave them all away. Uh, I, I was... I had your your bike was needed some repair and I put it down in the basement uh -huh. along with Tammy's bike and uh, I came back from a trip and found that uh, my uh, that those bikes had been given away uh -huh. and Juan and I had two English bikes right. that and, and I think we actually bought those in New York. Mm -hmm. Uh, and she gave those away after we got to California as well. Uh, but uh, the the uh, to answer your question more directly, it was a great relief to me to get out of the uh, situation in New York. Uh -huh. uh, and even during that uh, six months when I was living in the downtown athletic club. Uh, it was still very relaxing because I knew you guys, you had, you and Tammy had both uh, started uh, elementary school at uh, Walter Hayes, mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> and everything seemed to be going pretty well. Mm -hmm. um, that so I was I was very pleased with that move, and of course I never dreamed that I would be able to move a million dollars worth of billings. Uh -huh. uh, and I think that's what it, what it was, in, is about a million dollars uh -huh. in the first year. Which went a long way back then. It went a long way, yeah. That, that was a, a Fresno County matter, uh, a fiduciary trust matter, uh, the Pioneer matter, and the Pioneer matter was, was the biggie. I mean, right. it, was, it accounted for more than $900,000 of, mm -hmm. of the income. Um, but that meant that all of a sudden, you know, I had, I had planned. I didn't know quite how I was going to handle it. I guess I was planning on going to the bank. But uh, I, I thought I was going to take a hell of a hit in income uh -huh. in that first year. <laughs> and I earned more in the first year than I, had, I was earning at Cleary. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> And it never faded from that. We, when we created the partnership, uh, one of the things I insisted on was that all the founders would be paid the same. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, after the first year, uh, the other three partners, uh, Davis, Stafford, and Kelman, uh, n none of those guys were... At one point, they were the compensation committee, but uh, and they started insisting that I take more money, and I said, "No, I'm not going to do that, because if I do that, you're going to think you got less responsibility." Mm -hmm. And now what I want to do is I want to see everybody out there uh, getting business and building the firm, and it went like that for like two years. Mm -hmm. And then finally, uh, when the the uh, compensation committee was changed, and uh, Stafford and Kelman 
uh, was dropped on.